So anyway, <clears throat> I'm doing a demonstration of a song called Mississippi Queen, um, and I'm trying to kind of, sort of imitate the, uh, the sound of Leslie West. So <clears throat> uh, I'm playing through that amp right there, which is a, uh, a Fender Junior 3, which is a clean amp. But um, it's, it's a very powerful amp, too. I, I use this now for gigging. It's 15 watts, and it's, it's a lot. And, and the weight is good for going to gigs and stuff. So I'm playing through that, but I got a bunch of pedals down here to give me a, a heavy, heavy, distorted sound. So Mississippi Queen, the intro lick. So. Real time. And um, you could play that from the D to the E with your top finger on the A string. I play it with the top, with my top finger on the E because it adds more just beef to the tongue. back into now the the lead we can play the lead in, in two different spots we can play it right here which is going to be a, a e major uh, pentatonic and we play it down here which is also a e major pentatonic um, or it's the notes are in a, 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 a e major pentatonic now if we play it here We play it an octave higher. Oh, I'm sorry, here. So you can play it in either either position. The thing about Leslie West is that overwhelming heavy bass uh, sound and he when he does a note he'll take a note and he'll, he'll bend it and his his sustain is just crazy and he and like on this song it's a lot of uh, a major punk pentatonic All in a, a E uh, major pentatonic. Anyway, so uh, by the way, I'm playing for this demonstration of uh, Mississippi Queen. This is the um, the uh, EVH that I bought, and this is the uh, Mexican version. It was like thirteen or fourteen hundred dollars from Sweetwater, and uh, <clears throat> it's when you buy the the American one, it's it's literally twice as much. It's like three grand. And I can I can I can tell that the one interesting thing though that just seemed funny to me I called Fender in uh, California because I have a, a a neck on a Strat that I that's my main guitar and the strust stress strust <laughs> for the strut bar was uh, stripped out. 
So the only way I could continue to play it and have the action at the right level was to start using nines through whatever it is, 44. And I used tens. And so um, I had to get a new neck and that was, you know, simple enough that it's the same neck for that year. Mine was a 2001 um, a US just Strat. And, um, but when I was talking to the guy at um, Fender, I said, you know, I've got this, uh, the Mexican EVH Wolfgang and I said, I've, I watched enough videos of that, of, the, of it being demonstrated that that was supposed to be your bridge pickup. And that was supposed to be both. And that was supposed to be your neck pickup. And I said, with mine, that's my neck, that's both, that's the bridge, just like a Les Paul. And he said that that was something Eddie wanted. On the Mexicans, it's just normal and on the um, Americans neck both neck pickup thought that was interesting anyway thanks for watching